I'm not from here. I'm a little bitch. Everybody walks all over me, and I finally had my day of reckoning. I cross the street. This car swerved behind me, and I heard, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, not today. And I just went, I'm fucking walking. But then I heard, I wasn't talking to you. And I was like, well, I'm sorry. I had to like, keep the energy going. And it was more embarrassing because I'm, uh, I'm a male nanny during the day, and uh, I'm a, I have a little 10 year old girl who's with me just get embarrassed live. <laughs> All the respect is gone now, and I need to get Exisa's Upper West Side 10 year old billionaire. So, so rich. And it's very wild to me because she thinks I'm just as rich, which is funny because I'm her servant. <laughs> I do play along. Like, I picked her up from a play date, and she was like, you want to know a secret? Sophia's never flown private. <laughs> and I was like, that's humiliating. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, she doesn't even have a million dollars. And I was like, why are you even hanging out with this bitch? <laughs> and, you know, I feel bad for her. She's 10 years old. She has bladder problems. And I can, you know, she does. Dude. She's a 10-year-old. She was just like you, you know? <laughs> I feel that, you know, I was the same kid. I was a loser. I have a very uh, tiny bladder. It's only three inches hard. And I was <laughs> that same kid, I peed my pants every day, third grade. You know, I said it was rain. <laughs> and uh, it rained every day. <laughs> the teacher was like, it rains on the left side of your leg only every day? And I was like, yep. I have peed my pants uh, as an adult. Has anybody done that? There we go. Lad. Nice. Show yourself right up front. You came for a reason. <laughs> what happened? You are just drunk? Nice, okay. You wake up in a field, piss everywhere? Something like that. Cool, same as me. <laughs> Mine was a little more embarrassing. I peed my pants on a plane because I dreamed I was peeing. That's the fun thing about piss. It transcends realms. That's nice. The only thing about my dream that ever comes true is piss and jizz. What a joy. Nothing else about the dream. I never wake up like, am I still a king? Huh, piss. We meet again. <laughs> You know what happened, you know, I fell asleep on this plane, I woke up to a wet lap, and uh, you ever wake up from a dream into a nightmare? That's what that feels like. I was also sitting window, so now I gotta turn to these people and scooch my guilty crotch past their eyes and go to the bathroom with my carry-on? That's suspicious. You want everybody on a plane to freak out? Bring your suitcase to the bathroom. Everybody fucking panics till I come out wearing a different pair of pants. Like, oh, he's not a terrorist, he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> just walking to my seat like, yeah, these are my sky pants. Mm -hmm. I always switch into my bathing suit. <laughs> Flight attendant's like, sir, would you try and flush these jeans? <laughs> I'm like, oh, those are there and I got there. <laughs> Whoever did that looks like they pissed themselves. <laughs> and they stole my wallet? What is it? <laughs> Man, sorry for that. <laughs> I'm trying to make it, you guys are young. you 20s, that's what this is? 20 cool kids? Okay, yes. nice, all right, cool, you guys, yeah, a lot of confidence in this generation, I like it. Yeah, we're fucking, you got puka, nice, okay, you got a lot of confidence, I appreciate that. Puka shells, today. Are you thrown to me? Yeah! I'm just like him! <laughs> Some girls take me away. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, was that it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought if I did that motion, it would get everybody to laugh. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, I don't know, 20s, I, I turned 30, I'm trying to make new friends because, uh, I don't know, I feel like guys, you just keep your shitty asshole friends your whole life because of time. I don't know why I keep them around. This happened to me last year. My best friend hired two people to rob us so he could film my reaction <laughs> for YouTube. And I jumped out of a second story window because fake robberies seem real. I don't know if you know that. Those are hard to tell apart. And you know what happened? I was at his house, it was midnight, and I just hear, get on the ground! And I was like, with the TV? And then I heard, we'll shoot! And I was like, I'm jumping, I don't care. <laughs> And I tell you this, it felt badass to jump out of a window. I had, a, I had last words. I remember I was running, and I just hear, there's somebody upstairs. And out loud, I went, there was. And I jumped <laughs> out the window. But midair, I did get scared, and I'm not proud of this, but I did flap my arms. To the right way. I was just like, maybe! <laughs> 
So, you know, I land on the ground, and my friend's in the yard, and he's like, dude, it's a prank. And I was like, oh, you don't know what a prank is. This is a crime. And uh, I don't know, I just hope I never get robbed again, you know? I think it's a joke. Like, I'm at the bank, people break in, like, get on the ground! And I'm like, yeah, what do you think, I was born yesterday? I get shot, and I'm like, this is hilarious. Who's filming this, babe? I do, I don't know, I, I'm too nice. You can't be too nice here. It's really, I hugged a homeless lady the other day. You can't be that nice in this city, right? This is what happened. Oh, thank you, all right. I'll piss with you, but I won't hug with you. That's all right. Who does? All right, you're my next. <laughs> okay. There's a really, uh, I got off the train, a super tall homeless lady, she sees me, and she's like, do you have any money? And I was like, no. And she goes, can I have a hug? And my brain was like, no. <laughs> But my nice mouth is like, I thought you'd never ask. So then, you know, we go in, we hug, she lifts me up, my legs are dangling. And then she squeezed me so hard, I thought we were gonna switch lives. I thought I was gonna wake up in her body, and now the only way out is to like switch with somebody else by hugging them. But that'll never happen because everyone knows the deal. I see a construction worker, I'm like, could you spare a hug? And he's like, nice try, pal. <laughs> Last time I did that, I was homeless for seven years. <laughs> I used to be Kanye, you know? So, you know, I pull her off her, I'm like, why are you squeezing? And she goes, I want to kiss. <laughs> we can't kiss. And she goes, I'll be waiting. And I was like, it's not a matter of time. <laughs> time is not why. And then I get home, my girlfriend's like, you smell weird. And I was like, yeah, I hugged a homeless lady. And she was like, you can't hug the homeless. And I was like, listen, I could have done way more. I held back, I could have spent the night in her box. Right. <laughs> I did, uh, I hit five years with my girlfriend. Is anybody doing long term? Did they ask that already? Did everybody do the who's fucking? And stuff? Has that been done yet? Has anybody asked who's fucking yet in here? <laughs> Oh, it got weird. Nobody's fucking in here. Damn, I guess I'm the only one who's getting it with. <laughs> well, I'm fucking. No, I have a girlfriend for, uh, we just had five years, and uh, to be honest, I was a little too broke to get her a gift, so I was doing those poor guy, like, do you want a poem, or is there anything I can do to improve myself for you? And she told me she wanted me to, to dirty talk more, and... I like dirty talk. I like it. I just don't initiate. Like, if she starts it, oh, yes, and. But the problem <laughs> is I'm never, just not ready to talk when it happens. You ever not ready to talk? My voice cracks every time. My girlfriend will be like, you like that, daddy? And I'm like, yeah! yeah! I'm a man and I like that. But she's way too proper, very proper lady. My girlfriend says penis. Ruins it. Every time. One time she goes, that penis feels right. <laughs> and it's like, I'm out. We're not. Don't call my dick by its government name. And she was like, you know, I can't say dirty words. And I was like, I can. And she goes, could you say breasts? And I was like, no. And she's like, yeah, squeeze my breasts. And I was like, that sounds like a misdemeanor. I'm not. <laughs> Your br I'll check your breasts. <laughs> but if I'm squeezing, they're tits. We all know the rules, right? You agree. We know them, I'll say them. Tits are for sex, breasts are for cancer, don't flip them up. Those are the rules, we all know them. It's very weird to do that. It's like if my mom came home from the doctor, like, son, they found a lump in my tits. <laughs> do you mean breasts? <laughs> Can they remove one of my jugs? Oh my this is getting weird. If I don't act quick, it may spread to my tight little puss. Okay, I guess that's so. um, Alright, that's it for me, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out. Have a great night. Good night for your home. Charles Engel, let him know. Folks, we have a lot more shows, so I'm going to keep it rolling. Folks, the next person you've seen is on H. I can't speak. I'm fucking.